Candace mentioned earlier, temperatures have climbed here in the state line. This means air conditioning companies are top of mind to beat the heat. Now, Karina joins us now. You talked with one owner who says he is really overwhelmed with work. That's right, Eric in Brooklyn. Guff Heating and Air Conditioning has already seen an uptick in calls for service in the last two weeks. Owner David Guff tells me checking your air conditioner at the end of spring is the key to avoid having to call a technician. State line summer is in full swing, and that means residents need to stay cool. Most relying on their air conditioner to help. Goff Heating and Air Conditioning owner David Goff recommends having the handy system cleaned once a year to prevent something going wrong. By that point, of course, most of the technicians in town are going to be very busy when the weather is this hot, so it's harder to get a technician out. Experts say many times, preventative maintenance is the key to avoid being stuck with a bad air conditioner. Making sure that your filters are clean, making sure the drains have been cleaned out. Uh, a lot of people experience water problems in their basement and it's because of plug drain lines. First responders say it can be dangerous if you find yourself with no cooling system. That would be a time for someone to try to locate themselves to another place, maybe go to a public um, area, go you know, to some place where there is air conditioning. Rockford Fire says every summer, they see an increase in calls for heat emergencies. Lack of energy, complete exhaustion, um, and then just starting to you know, not have good um, focal motor skills, things that they can't have a good focus. Gov says when it gets this hot and humid, everyone should make sure their windows and blinds are closed. Closing them in the hottest part of the day definitely helps uh, to keep that, that heat out of the house and, and help keep the, the house cooled down. But also, avoid opening those windows when the temps cool down at night. The first thing it does is has to try and draw that humidity out of the house before it can bring the temperature down. And once you open the windows and open that back up, you're allowing all that moisture to come back in. Rockford Fire tells me most importantly, remember to check on your loved ones during these high temps and to drink lots and lots of water. Always good advice. Karina, thanks. Thank you, Karina.